Hey, what's going on dudes? My name is TDC and welcome back to some more Ark Survival Evolved. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic today. This dude, he, do you just, is everybody always poop as soon as you start your intro on this game? I think they do. I didn't press the button, he just poops. Um, man, my, my braids are coming in. <laughs> I have like no hairstyles unlocked. I think the only reason I have the braids one is because I max level. And, uh, yeah, so I really wanted the mohawk, but we can't do that unless we take out, I think, like, the hardest boss or something like that. So, that's a little ways away, but check this out. So, I've been doing a little bit of work around here. It's later in the day from last episode. I have rested my voice a little bit. Sorry if I'm still sick, um, or still sound sick, but, yeah, so I spent a little bit of time here kind of figuring out some of these trees. I added some more of these glowing trees, and I meant to add some more purple ones, but <laughs> they ended up being blue ones. Um, but yeah, so check this out. So, with one tree by itself, they're kind of weirdly shaped. Okay, so I have this one here, right? So there's like a big gap missing in the tree. So you can see like straight up through there, there's nothing growing. There's no leaves, no branches, no nothing. Um, and I, it's really apparent on these big ones. So what I did to get around that is I just took a couple of them and place them together. I know it's a little dark, I'm sorry if you guys can't see too much, uh, but this one is actually three trees all planted together and just kind of spin it off in opposite directions and it really kind of fills the tree out, makes it look a little bit nicer. So I think that's what we're gonna do. This one over here is a big one and a little one put together and I think that one works okay, but I don't think I'm gonna plant like too many more of these trees around here, maybe just a couple uh, a couple more along the outside over here because we still have a lot of space to work with on this side of the the island, right? So we did that. I messed around a little bit more with uh, this thing up here <laughs> and I really like the way they came out. Oh, and I also found these barrels too. So I started sticking these around the place and those are cool. Man, check these out though. These have a ton of storage in them. It is fantastic. So I've been taking all the... Uh, special parts like decoration pieces and I've been sticking them in this one here so they're just kind of out front and easy to use um, but yes yeah, so we got a bunch of trees that I would like to try to lay down and um, just some different stuff right so we'll maybe try to check out some of those a little bit later on but let me show you what's going on up here so I messed around with that remember the water reservoir yeah this thing I found a bonfire which is like a big campfire and if I, I just stuck it in the middle of it <laughs> and then I lit it up and so it kind of has this effect of it's like some sort of kiln or furnace so yeah I don't know you just kind of have to use your imagination I suppose but <laughs> that's a thing and it just kind of lights up the area too when it's dark up here at nighttime so that's kind of cool um, but I did get our Anki moved up to the top of the mountain over here and I collected a bunch of metal so the, he's on top of this one right here there's three metal nodes and out of one harvest I was able to get I think like almost 3,000 raw metal I've got it smelted up here so we got just about 400 cooked up so far and uh, I think that's going to work out really, really good because we're not going to be using metal all that much. I crafted up a bunch of spark powder here so we can just get this going. Um, I do want to move this over to our actual forge area and smelt up all the metal over there. But it's just in there for right now. So, But yeah, so that's, that's the work that I've gotten done around here. Not too much. <laughs> um, I haven't spent a whole lot of time. But I do want to do some building today. And... Uh, I think we're going to try to build at least a couple of houses and then I also want to try um, doing something. I don't want to give it away just yet, but we're going to try we're going to try working on something here and it's going to be cool. So, I guess I'm going to wait till this rainstorm ends because it never ends raining or never stops raining on this server. And uh, we'll be right back. All right. So, we're going to be building on this plot today. At least to start off with, and it's going to be a challenge because I don't know if I've ever actually built a 2x2 two two house before. Um, so the challenge is, is we got to build a 2x2 two two house and make it at least somewhat interesting. <laughs> so that's going to be the hard part, and I know we already have to do this. We're going to have to swap these out. The reason being is because with the S plus pillars, oh those are medium pillars, I don't want those, hold on. We got to go get the small ones. Small ones are just easier to work with. The medium ones worked really well for the wall 
Oh man, I made a bunch of medium ones. I must have misclicked. I didn't mean to make that many of those. <laughs> That's a lot of uh, the wrong size pillars here. So let's grab these. But yeah, so the reason being, whoops, is because these will not. Can you? Can you? What? What is that? I don't know what that was. Uh, but these won't snap to the corners, right? So they'll snap to the center of the foundations, right? So you got two, I think, three snaps on these. So that's the center of that foundation. You can snap it to the corner, I guess the side, um, on both sides and then in the middle. But on the S plus foundations, you can snap it to the corner. And that's what we want to do here. So we're going to have to pull these guys up like so and then lay them down like this and now we've got all of them pulled up we can go ahead and lay them down and then we gotta swap them back after we put the pillars in right so I guess we'll just go ahead and build the whole thing on these stone foundations and then swap them back out with the uh, vanilla wooden ones so I kinda want this to be a log cabin ish type thing so let's figure out we want to do walls here we'll do I think we'll do a front door right here so we'll have a little bit of a patio this is gonna it has a tiny house <laughs> tiny tiny and then maybe a back door here yeah so let's grab some I guess we use stone door frames. Might as well. It doesn't have to be completely wooden. I wasn't really planning on it being completely wooden anyway. But if we do those like that, that should be okay. Now with the wooden or the stone pillars, we can go ahead and put these guys in. So we want that one there. Like so. You guys know me. I love these uh corner pillars. <laughs> I really do and I don't know why all right so there's the basic shape and we got to figure out how we want to do this I wonder <laughs> I wonder if we could fit a spiral staircase in there I don't think we can we actually you know what I wonder if we make some corner let's see Triangle foundations. Let's make a couple of those and try these out just so we can kind of maybe, I don't know, like change up the shape of the top or the front at least. I don't know. This is, um, this might be kind of funky. So if we take these guys, oh, but then we wouldn't be able to use the, uh, the wooden ones. Yeah, this could be a problem. I don't know if we want to do that, at least yet. So let's put that back. Can you? There you go. Whoa, super jump. Hmm. The reason being, I was thinking we could use the diagonal one is, or the triangle pieces, because we could open this up a little bit more. And the other thing I was wanting to try is see if we could put a spiral staircase in there, but I don't think we're going to have the room for it. So, wood. Spiral staircase. Yeah, I just I think these things are too big. Maybe. We'll see. They're just going to take up like all the room <laughs> in this place. Unless we had like two door frames. So we could have like storage or something on this side. And then we could have a door frame here and a back door here. Yeah, we could do that. So let's grab another door frame from in here. Oh no, what? Did I only grab two? I may have only grabbed two, that's fine. We'll just leave it for now. And then we want to, I guess build up some walls like so. Eh. There we go. We'll sneak in the back side. Oh, we don't want that one there. 
Ooh, this might be tricky. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. I just I've never built like this before. So if we put that there, and then if we put another Because I want the ceiling to be a little bit taller than this. Because, I mean, that's just cutting it a little tight. Like, it's fine for storage, right? But may- oh, you know what? Let's pull- let's make another spiral staircase. And then from there, we can go up. And that'll give us a little bit more headroom to work with, I think. So, wood- there it is. Those things craft really fast. Alright, now let's see if this snaps. Hopefully it will. Yeah, there we go. So from here, we can build out the roof, kind of. <laughs> no, because if we do that, then it's not going to be a 2x2. Two two. We want this to be solely 2x2. Two two. Can we fit? We can't fit here. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's definitely not much of a house if we do this, huh? I guess maybe... We put the door frame... So instead of having like a little patio... Put that there. then that'll give us room here. We can open this up. We still won't have a whole lot of room up here though is the problem. I guess that's fine. It is, it is a little strange. <laughs> what does this even look like from the outside? Yeah, see that's just kind of boring. We gotta figure something else out. Alright, so we're going with the hatch frame. This is just going to allow us to have more room in here. And uh, it's going to work out a little bit better. Can I do... Yeah, that'll work, I suppose. So, it, whoops. Up and over, I suppose. <laughs> um, but yeah, so having the hatch frame is going to give us just a little bit more room. And we actually want to take that out so we can put the back door in. So now, if we come up here, we can actually build this out some. Um, so we can actually have two by two platform up here, which I think will be nice and then Yeah, that's just gonna tie things together a little bit better. So let's lay down some more pillars bring these guys up Not there, but that would be fine uh, Put that there put that there And this one back here Do we want yeah might as well let's see what that looks like up top Okay, that's not really poking through too bad. So, from here, we need to figure out the wall situation. Do we want... Because I was kind of thinking it'd be cool to just mirror image what's on the bottom. So, if we do it like this, and then we have like a door frame here and here. And then we'll just kind of have like some storage and beds up here, but... Um, down from the bottom, it would be, let's do, let's go ahead and put the roof on top of here. Oh, not there. So it'd be like opposites, so that would be open and that would be like a balcony. <laughs> I think we're going to do that, that would be kind of cool. Uh, but let's grab some windows real quick so we can figure out the window placement. I've got three wooden windows and we'll go with wood, I think for most of this. So we'll put a window here. And then on this side we'll put a window here and here. Yeah, I think that'll look okay. So we need to grab some more We need to grab some more parts. One second. <laughs> I really like this. This is cool. It's almost kind of like a modern design, and it's weird. I like weird. So we need to run some more pillars up. We'll run that one up there. We'll run these up like so. 
these ones back here. Yeah, and I think that'll work. So I brought some... Oh, I need one more door frame. I made the other three. I got this one, and then I've got these two up here, right? So, why? Why? What's going on here? Is it this wall? What is happening? Right there. What is going on? Is it snapping to the roof? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay, that must have been it. Got any more weird walls? I think we're good. So now we can put the roof back on there. Oh, that'll work. Yeah. So I did bring over some wood railing. We can go ahead and put that on the front. <laughs> oh, this is, it's like so cramped in here. It's awesome. I really like it. And then, what else do we need? I brought over some catwalks. Let's see what some catwalks look like. So if we can put that there, kind of give us some like cross beam support for this front side, right? Uh, I want I want another one to go right there. Is that not gonna work? Hold on, let's pull that one off. Let's do that one first, maybe. No, I guess you can't have both of them. Oh, that would have been so cool to have it like cross, like crisscrossed right there at the end. There's got to be a way to do this. Man, it is always raining on this server. <laughs> Alright, so I couldn't get the crisscross thing to work, but I think that'll be alright. This kind of shows like there's a little bit of extra support. Um, one thing that I do want to try is maybe like some wooden pillars to see what that looks like. Let's just grab maybe 10 of these for right now. Yeah, this rain, man. Driving me nuts. So if we put that there, put that one there. Does that kind of just add a little bit more to it and then we could run maybe a wooden one up here like so? Because this, this spot is kind of driving me crazy. There's not much going on. And I really just don't like the Lincoln log seam in the corner of the wood walls. So if we do that, it kind of covers it up and then it also adds a little bit of detail work. Yeah, that'll work. And then back here. Uh, oh no. Not where I wanted you. Back here, I just put catwalks all the way up. I think that's kind of interesting. And they, on the inside, they act as shelves, um, which would be cool because we can come back in and we can put stuff on this one here and then also the one downstairs. So right here, we could put stuff up above the door, which would be cool. But we need this one to snap. Right there. Okay, and then we can run them up. Oh, then I need two more, it looks like. Alright, so I got the pillars installed all the way up to the top, and now we need to figure out the roof. So, um, made a mistake here. I already put the roof in, but we want to actually have um, some sort of slant to this. And I'm thinking on here. Let's see, I brought some of these guys. I don't know which one's which, I never do. So we want that one, we want this one. Right? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> That'll work. And then we want this guy right there. And then on this side, we want normal walls to go all the way up. Like, you know what, do we have any more windows on us? We don't. I'll come back and I want to replace, so we'll probably put a couple of windows up at the top like that. Uh, but yeah, so now let's go grab our thatch roofs, which we have in here. And we'll drop off the catwalks and those guys for now. Oh, get up. 
Thank you. I guess with the S plus foundations, you can just walk straight up them, um, which is handy. So sloped, we will do here, and then we will also do here if we can. No, no, no. Come on. You can do this. I believe in you. Take this out so we get this little angle. There we go. And then we'll put this wall back. Boom. And then on this side, we will do just normal thatch roofs. Alright. Let's hop down and see what that looks like. That's pretty cool looking, man. I'm not going to lie. It's very small, but I think it looks kind of neat. <laughs> um, what would some more pillars look like? The pillars, I'm kind of worried about the pillars on this one, guys. Kind of worried because I feel like it just takes up too much space. But if we put that there, kind of shows a little bit of support. And I'm wondering if we should run it down here as well. But I don't know. <laughs> that looks so cool. I really like it. Alright, so we need to finish up the rest of the stone pillars up at the top. To run those guys all the way up. Um, so, like so, like so. I think we can do the rest from the inside. Yeah. There, and then we're good there. Right? I think that's it. Yeah, so now, the scary part is, let's grab, I just want to see what the wooden pillars look like real quick before we tear it all down, I just, I need to know. Um, let's grab a couple more of these guys, and put these, like run these down the corner here. Oh snap, snap dude, uh, it'll work. Do we like that? I think that's kind of cool. Kind of ties it all in, but now, now comes the scary part. So we got to put in the vanilla foundations again, okay? So we're going to take that up, put that one in, and it seemed to work. Oh, okay. Because I'm afraid some of these structures will actually collapse. But it seems like they're doing okay. <laughs> okay, that had me a little bit worried. But it seemed to be okay. No, dude, that's so cool. I really like this. And now I was thinking it would go against the 2x2, two two, but if we put a porch on this, like that. No, I think I like it better the other way. Honestly, without the porch. Yeah, that is cool. So give me a second. I'm going to kind of decorate it real quick. And then we'll start on another build. Doesn't that look so awesome? With the trees and everything lit up behind it. And we got the torches installed now. Oh, it's looking good. So there's a couple things I did want to try with you guys on camera. Um, I crafted up some of these things. I don't think I want that. Where? All right, I made some flower thingies. Are they in here? No. Forget where I put them. They're in here somewhere. Maybe they're in the house. No, no, no. Here they are. So we got that one. And maybe we want to add a couple of more. Flowers. Plants. Maybe it's these guys. I'm not sure. So there are... Let's grab like five. We'll make one of those, one of these, one of them, one of you, and one of you. So I kind of want to make like a little flower bed in front of this house just to see how things look. I've got a couple of things I want to try to lay down some ivy and some plant boxes and stuff like that, but I just wanted to see what this would look like real quick. So let's grab these dudes. I don't know how big these things are. All right, that one's a little big. If we put that like right here, 
five. So I guess these are like from the some of the aberration plants. This might actually turn out pretty neat. Put that one there. Oh, these guys are little. We'll pull that one around like so. And then how big is this one? Oh, that's another small guy. Put that there and then this thing. I think this thing is actually pretty big. I put that there. No, that blocks all the other guys. Um, no, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy. Plant. And let's try this one. I think this will probably work. Yeah, there we go. So stick that there. Perfect. And so now I laid down some uh, stone foundations. We can kind of wall this off like that. It's like a little flower bed. <laughs> How cool is that? Now we've also got some other plant boxes. We could try putting some of these guys in. I think that one works. I still haven't put in the other windows yet. I've got these up here. Uh oh, that might be a little too high. But we need to add some color to like the sides of these places. Um, or the side of this place because it is kind of bleh. I got these plant boxes or whatever these are called. What are these? Green box. These are cool. They're kind of modern looking though. So I'm not sure if these are going to work. That's not terrible. I kind of dig that. And then let's put this guy here maybe. So what does this look like? Yeah, that's not bad. And I've also got some ivy, which I don't want to go too overboard with this stuff. This is this stuff is easy to overdo. Um, but it definitely does work on adding color to the sides of some of these buildings. So let's do one more up the side right here. That's not bad. And then maybe like over the front door. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Um, and then I also did craft these guys and then I crafted doors for everything as well. So we'll put these in and then I think we'll call this house good. Um, we will come back and add stuff to the... Uh... Hey. Oh, they're automatic. I forgot about that. So let's pop up here. Oh, we got some IV sticking out. Whoops. Yeah. We may not even need doors up there. <laughs> I don't know. I really like this build. It's cool. All right. So I'm going to kind of start. I think we're already gone pretty far into this episode. So I'm going to start and we'll come back and finish the next build with you guys. All right. So we're just about done putting the finishing touches on this second house here. I think you guys are going to like this one. This one's a little bit more <laughs> uh, normal, I guess. I don't know if you guys like the more extravagant. Oh, we need to ramp back here. Forgot about that. Um, but yeah, we got a pretty cool shape of the house here. I really like that. I think it just looks good. Um, but I'm just trying to stack some of these crates around just to kind of spruce up the outside a little bit. Let's do like that. Why not? Uh, but yeah, so let's head around to the front. I'll show ya. i show ya. <laughs> So it's 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 a little busy, I guess. It's not awful. These things are amazing. These are so cool. They're like fallen logs from uh, uh it's from the aberration table, I believe. No, it's actually from this one, the Wonderland mod. So I think it's under plants. No, trees. Yeah, it's one of these guys here. So it's a tree trunk. We have just a normal dead one, and this one's got like little plants and stuff growing on it, which is really cool. Um, and then I also got these guys here too. I really like the color of those. So I'm really glad that the the plants are bringing out like colors in this area, because to be honest, this area is kind of dull 
um, color wise there's, you know there's a lot of like browns and like kind of washed out green colors and you know the yellowish <laughs> so if we can really bring it to life with the plants and stuff I think that's gonna be the key to making this place look really cool so this is what we got tell me what you think if you hate it you love it you know if there's things I can do better make sure you let me know and uh, one thing I want to ask you guys too before I forget is I want you guys to come up with some weird plot designs right so plot layouts like this one I'm kind of excited for this one's gonna be a fun build it's very different uh, as far as like building goes so just like the, the 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 it's not your normal like two by two or three by three four by four whatever it is um, so this one was two by two and this one was four by five I believe one two three four or four by three yeah, four by three. So it's a little bit more normal. You know, we tried to kind of make some odd shapes and angles and different stuff like that with the roof, and it worked out pretty well here. Um, but as far as like some of these other ones, I want some I want some crazy looking plot designs. So however you guys can explain that to me in a comment or on Twitter or whatever the case may be, let me know because I want a challenge to build to. And uh, these two, this one, this one was more difficult than this. I have to be honest, making this look cool. But I think they both came out really, really nice. So make sure you guys let me know in the comments down below and uh, we can kind of go from there. I think we're probably going to have to wrap up today's episode here. I wanted to get one more thing done and we may save that for the next episode. But I want to start building up this way. So we we're, we're going to work with like scaffolding and um, making different ramps and stuff up here. So what I'm thinking is we'll have maybe a two or four wide platform here. So we'll have like a ramp that goes up and then it goes over and we'll have more ramps that go up. Just kind of like back and forth, back and forth all the way up. And uh, I think that'll be kind of cool looking <laughs> to get up to the top. And then from there, we can actually start bridging out to some of the other areas too, which I think is going to be sweet. Uh, so let's get this guy to come down here and we'll just kind of take a look on the other side of this cliff real quick. Come here. All right, chill for a second. Let me drop off this stuff so we can actually fly on you. Got a lot of stuff in my inventory. Oh, I wanted to... Where'd it go? This guy. I wanted to see what this was. It's an outhouse. <laughs> so we're going to see what this looks like. I've got a bunch of rocks and different things like that. Plants. Yeah, so where'd that outhouse go? Oh, it's in my inventory. Perfect. Uh, what is... What is this? <laughs> it's just an outhouse. Ooh, there's flies and poop in there. Can turn fecal matter into oil and compost at two times the speed of a dung beetle. Ew. That's kind of cool. So this is like a, a fertilizer farm. Dude, that is awesome. We'll probably still set it up the, uh, the old way with the Fiomi and stuff like that just to have a build, but... This is, this is useful. <laughs> so this item actually has some sort of use to it. I like that. That's nice. A lot of this stuff, uh, you know, is just for decoration or it's just basic storage, which, which is nice, but it's cool when some of these items have function, right? So, but yeah, so we're going to work on building our way up here and then maybe we'll have some sort of structure. It's going to be difficult here because this one is really slanted, like hardcore. Oh, oh, I thought I was going to fall off. Uh, but this is a pretty steep incline here. So it'll be kind of hard to build one solid structure. But maybe we can do like a leveled structure. So like come out, down, out, down, out, down. And then from here, this is a pretty good spot to bridge from here. Right? And then maybe from here we can bridge up to this guy. The only thing is one of these... Probably this one here. We're gonna have to leave somewhat away from <laughs> any kind of structures because I don't want these metal nodes to not spawn. And I'm not sure what the distance is or like what it's set to on this server. So dang, 760 metal. What? How many? How many levels you got? Seven levels. Let's do some melee damage. Let's see how much you get off of that one over here. Um, but yeah, so I want these metal metal nodes to be able to spawn 
at least for the time being. And uh, but we may end up setting up some sort of like metal shop someplace else. Like once we get a Quetzal and we can move around a lot of metal because metal is heavy. But yeah, because we don't really have any other metal nodes around here is the problem. A thousand metal per swing. That's pretty good. We're gonna have to bump up the weight on this guy next though for sure. <laughs> uh, how much money you got on you? Almost 3,000, man. That is crazy, crazy. I don't even think we're going to be able to fly with my bird. I can barely run. There's no way this bird's going to be able to fly. Nope. Too much. Too much for the handle. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess that's going to about do it for today's episode. We... We'll come back next time. Like I said, I recorded this episode. Oh, you can't even hold all your metal. <laughs> uh, let's take this. You should be able to fly now, right? Yeah, you're good. Um, like I said, I recorded this right after the previous episode that you guys saw. So things may be a little bit jumbled. I know I asked you guys for a name for our Anki up there. Different stuff like that. So keep those comments rolling in, and I will make sure to check them before we record next. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Peace. Okay.